the vision for the academy really for me would be to have a variety of courts. Well, I think that's important to have a, to, if you have a great facility, you have to have, have to have the clay courts, which are, are so popular in Europe and South America, particularly all the tournaments are on there and all the kids are growing up playing on that. And for me, it's getting the kids to play sports, you know, whether it's tennis or golf or football. The great thing about this tennis academy is, is, the, is, the, is the locals. I mean, they, are, they love tennis. They're, they're enthusiastic about tennis. They're great kids, you know, and they're willing to learn. They don't really have anything here, but they have a great passion for tennis, so, so they need to have some decent coaching. But we want to have a facility, of course, that the, that the people at the resort feel comfortable to go to. You know, you've got to have the best of both worlds, and, and uh, a great academy coach is able to cater for the little ones all the way through to the adults, and it can improve everybody and make them have a lot of fun. And that's, what we'll, that's, that's definitely what we'll be here. I think one of the, the great things to attract tennis to the area would be to have a, an exhibition style match with my, myself playing against you know, one of the old, my old rivals uh, of some sort. Junior tournaments as well. I think it's important to have junior tournaments, not just local junior tournaments, international junior tournaments. Ah, how are you, young man? You well? Yes, 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 yeah. I am. Not as well as you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just covers it well, though. Yeah. You were at the time when when Connors was playing. Yeah, I guess I played Jimmy. I played Jimmy in the semi-final that year. Yes. So he was taught at the end of his career. He was yes, actually yes. 35. So what what are you going to be doing in St Vincent with him? Well, we're uh, whatever he wants me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we set up some tennis courts here, and, and wonderful. Uh, you know, we're. Uh, uh, very excited to be alongside you know, Dave and there's uh, obviously Gary Player as well, he's, so he's got a few golf courses and I'll put some tennis courts in there, get some coaching, get some good coaching. Mm. It's an important project mm. and um, we get quality people like yourself coming in it, it, it lifts everything. Mm. I think we're quite fortunate, you know, uh, to have to have part with us and to to be involved in the, the Halloween project, I think uh, is one thing for sure here in St. Lucia, and that is the potential of our people. Mm -hmm. There's a raw talent out there. It's only left to be harnessed and exploited. And um, I am confident that with you coming around, would certainly um, help in, in being able to exploit that talent in St. Lucia. This is nice. Wow. Wow. I like that. That is fantastic, isn't it? Straight off the beach, straight into the plunge pool. Come back in a few days, guys. I'm just going to chill out for a while here. I think I could, uh, I think I spend a few years here just chilling out. What I really like about St. Vincent is it's virtually untouched. I mean, this is the first real development here, and it's with a lot of respect here for, for the environment itself. I mean, it's not like chopping out big chunks of the, of the land or anything like that. And it, it really is untouched. I mean, we're going through lovely villages. Uh, you know, this is the sort of stuff that, you know, people want to, when they come for a holiday, they want to see. You come here and, uh, you know, you can really feel like you can get away with it. You just, it's just peaceful. 